Is it the kind of set where obviously you learn from the people around you? Is it a you know learning curve when it's uh, you know Rob Cohen and J Lo and John Corbett? I always come to sets mm -hmm. thinking that I'm the one that has the the least to offer, so I have the the most to gain. Um, so, <laughs> that's a good attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to learn everything I possibly can while also doing my own thing. Um, so I like to collaborate. I like to you know bounce ideas off, and I like to to feed off you know others as well. And I got a lot to feed off of with with Rob Cohen, Chris Chenoweth. John Corbett, Jennifer Lopez, obviously, Ian Nelson. They're all amazing in this film, and uh, I was honored. Uh, Noah is, to say the least, um, layered. There's a lot of unexpected things about him. So how would you describe him? I would describe him as a love-obsessed young man who uh, is very intense and takes things way too far. That's a good way. And it was a little bit like two performances because you have to, you know, play him as extremely charming uh, in the beginning and yeah. then a little bit spooky afterwards. So how did you, you know, premeditate that? Again, a collaboration between uh, mm -hmm. my director and I, Rob Cohen. Uh, we figured out exactly what we needed with the character to be mm -hmm. like in the beginning, which is this all-American young man who, who entices everybody to be a part of his life. I mean, this is the kid you want, you know, around you. And then after the emotions spike and he falls in love with this uh, mature woman. Uh, he uses everything in his power, which is a lot. He's very methodical and he's very uh, intellectual as well. Mm. Um, but he uses that as a manipulation tool to try and get Jennifer's character, Claire, back in his life and see that he's willing and able to do anything possible to make that happen. Anything possible, indeed. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> including you know quite you know physical stuff that we uh, that we we would want to spoil it for the audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have his backstory in mind as well for you? Did you construct a story for him? Yeah, we kind of created a backstory. Um, I had my own version, and then Rob told me his, and mm -hmm. we uh, again collaborative effort uh, where this this young man had gone through um, a troubling past with his parents mm -hmm. and seen something his father did to his mm -hmm. mother and uh, realized that that's never gonna happen again, you know, by any means necessary. And um, everybody else is just dust to him. Dust, indeed. Uh, it's the kind of performance where your, your facial expressions were very important. So not all actors like to watch their dailies, but was it important for this one? You can ask everybody. I, I stayed yeah. away from that freaking camera. Or the, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like. I don't really like to watch myself back. The uh, the only times I have mm -hmm. actually really watched myself back were Step Up, um, those films, because I wanted to see if the dancing was anything that it needed to be. But um, the Boy Next Door, man, I, I trusted the producers and the director, and I feel like they they did me right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, t talking about Step Up and, you know, the great opportunity that this was, how do you regard those films which have been seen, you know, all over the world? They have such a big fan base. How did they kind of change your life? They opened the door for me mm. to, to be here and to be talking to you. So I, I knew that it was always, um, that was always going to be my base. And I was always going to be able to use that as a platform to to get um, much, much bigger roles or, or, or different roles. And... Uh, I knew that if I wanted to break the stereotype or the, uh, the, um, the myth that I'm just a dancer, mm. uh, I would have to work as hard as I possibly could. And that's why I've been trying to, you know, hustle as much as I can and get these, these films that are showing diversity. They do indeed. Uh, John was just telling me about the fact that he's trying to convince you to shave the beard for the Golden Globes. Oh, What's that all about? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but everybody's trying to make me shave. And Hollywood pressure. Yeah, I know. I am shaving. Um, yeah, uh, it's because, yeah, you you wanna you want people to see you and recognize mm. you um, because that that does mean you know people will will know who you are and and hopefully want to see you in more stuff and and become excited from that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna do what's best for my career for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you are quite recognizable with with the beard. I was expecting like the way he described it. I was expecting something unrecognizable. Yeah, Grizzly Adams, <laughs> like some birds living in. <laughs>